Hey, <laughs> what is going on guys? This is Ben here, and today I'm bringing you another Boom Beach video. Today I'm taking on Gearheart. If you guys haven't noticed, she is a little bit tough, and I'm sorry for uploading a little bit later than I normally do on Gearheart days. Woke up a little late. I literally woke up like 10 minutes ago and just started recording this video. Um, but yeah, Zuka's need to go. Um, or Zuka's are the way to go on this one. Smokey Zuka. You could, you could try Warriors, it's going to be really tough though because you still have to shock a considerable amount of things like the shock launchers will shock like the left hand side of your Warriors so you need to get rid of those. These machine guns and flamethrowers can hit probably some of your Warriors so those are going to melt them so you need to shock at least some of those. The mortars, um, they're not crucial to shock but they will hurt eventually and then the rockets. So there's potentially three things you need to shock and it's quite a bit of GB to get up there. So Warriors you can try for sure. Just good luck. Um, Zookas is definitely the better option. You could use all Zookas and flare up top here and then work your way down and then just shock like the mortars and then these machine guns when your Zookas get closer and then these rocket launchers so you don't have to worry about the shocks. And then another thing that I thought about was maybe you could do one warrior rush first with um, only focusing on taking out these mortars and then using your warrior, like your normal warrior rush to take out one of these rockets so it's less rockets in play to worry about. I thought about doing that, um, but I kind of did the similar thing last time, but it is probably the safer way to go about it, I think. So honestly, I'm, I'm on the edge. I'll, I'll probably cut the video if I decide to go back to it, but like, what I'm trying to say is you could, if you watch my last gear art video takedown, just use all your GBE until you only have a little bit left to take out some of those. And then flare to whatever you want to take out and then just shock the surrounding things that you need to like you'd need you wouldn't need to shock the shocks all you'd have to do is shock like the uh really all you'd have to shock is these rest of these rockets and you're good to go maybe the mortars um but then the next two attacks once these mortars are gone would be make it easier for a smoky zuka i'm just i'm just trying to debate but i'll cut the video when i decide what to do Alright, so after five minutes of intensely staring at that base, I decided to switch to all the warriors. So now I just gotta boost the statues, we'll boost the GBE. Like always, the damage. Oh, do I wanna boost three GBEs? I don't think so. We'll leave it we'll leave it at that. Uh, I could boost health. But I won't. Because I don't really need to. Um, so let's see. War Factory. Let's get it, um, here it is. Alright. So, I'm doing the Warriors like I kind of explained. Smokey Zuka, uh, it just it was too risky, man. And I want to get the win. I want to secure the win on this base and show you a win for you guys. So, the Mortars here. We're just going to use our GB. They have 30, 38,000, 40k health pretty much. So, it's going to pretty much cost all of my GB just to take them out. But I do feel as though this is the safe route as compared to other tactics that I'm not, that I don't want to fail. Because once these are gone, it's, it'll make my day a lot easier with the Smoky Zookas. And even if I can't drop my Warriors, I guess we'll still, we'll still be fine. Because I can use GBE on my next run if I need to. You gotta be kidding me, there's one alive. We'll just save that one for a later run because I want to use this GBE now I'm focusing on taking out these rockets um, if you're gonna do what I do though and you want to actually beat your heart I would highly suggest boosting GBE statues and damage statues these buildings are pretty crazy crazy cray man and we're gonna take a little bit of a long run just to say G GBE that didn't hurt us too bad so now I forgot what I needed to shock crack crap um the rockets for sure. And that that maybe and throw some critters. So hopefully we get another rocket out of it, that'd be sweet. If we get this rocket out of it, that'd be even sweet. Yes. Get up. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, that actually was better than I thought. I honestly thought we were only get one rocket out of that. And I'm glad I did that now, because this base is pretty wide open. Welcome to your harm zing. You're gonna crush no, you know, you're you're gonna get crushed. And I'm kind of like, feels like I'm slurring my words because you ever get that when you wake up in the morning and like your throat is, um, 
it's not it doesn't feel normal yet I don't know how to I don't I don't know how to describe it. like you just feel like groggy I guess is the best way to describe it like you're not fully awake yet that's kind of how I feel right now so these ones we're not gonna these rockets we're not gonna have to worry about I think we're good to go on rockets we got all the rockets in play that we needed because this one won't be in play we got all the mortars gone now it's just a concept of executing 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 these zookas so we're gonna go back and the reason why I had that heavy that one boat of heavy if you noticed because I was gonna do all zookas and then just later drop my heavy um, once like the shocks ran out on the rockets that were in play then I decided against that and switched to all the warriors I'm actually really glad I decided to do this it's a big reinforce but it's for the video good enough all right how much GB I have like 117 I always forget about that all right where is Gearheart over here I keep forgetting Let's get this, guys. This is gonna require the, the like the advanced smoky grouping up, where you have to like throw on a smoke, and the flare, and then throw on another smoke, and then keep dropping your troops. So I struggle on this a lot because I'm not really experienced with it. So hopefully I don't fail too hard with it for this video. You'll you'll see what I mean because these rockets are in play and they're gonna hit them. So you I'm gonna have to drop down smokes congruently while I'm dropping my boats and sometimes you misclick so it's pretty hard for me at least if you guys are pros at this good job <laughs> okay smo or flare now you have to judge the distance we'll drop one smoke I'll drop another smoke drop some more boats drop some more boats drop some more boats Another smoke. And then we'll flare. Alright, that actually worked out better than I thought. Oh crap, I didn't drop one boat. Dang it! We're down a boat of Zookas, guys. They're gonna be late, and I don't know, I don't know how I just got warrior or lasered there. It's taking a lot of GBE. I'm glad I decided to do what I did. I forgot to take out that mortar. We still have a lot of Zookas alive. This our other Zooka has messed us up, man. Because I forgot to drop the boat. So we're gonna shock these. That's all we really need to shock. I think we're looking good, though. We got quite a bit of Zookas alive. Just need to keep these machine guns shocked. We might actually get this on the first try. Come on. We're we'll throwing down the critters here just to distract the machine guns if they do go. The shock does run out. Come on. Boom. There we go. Usually I fail so hard when doing that strategy. You can see I didn't even see that I didn't drop my boat because I was so focused there. <laughs> Whoops. But we took it out. So if you learn from me, drop it a little bit farther right hand side when you're dropping those smokes. But there we go, we got the rewards. That's what we're looking for, man. That is what we're looking for, because I needed those. I needed those really bad, and I needed the complex gears. 47 Zookas, just like, that's half of my Zookas got destroyed, but that's fine. Well, you just got, you just got owned, because you know that I know from the last video that you are a, starts, the word starts with a B, but we won't, we won't get into that. We won't get to that get into that in this video, guys. All right, so I need I need uh, five more field capacitors or critical fuses. Good on field capacitors now. How much how much longer till my doom can? Well, my doom can's already dead. So I have seven days on this shock blaster, and I wanted to have like two prototype defenses up. Um, within like a couple days of each other, otherwise it gets pretty bad on attacks. So I need to get these critical fuses. Hopefully Hammerman pays out some of them. So I got enough of these, I got a lot of power rods and complex gears, we got a lot from that. So that's gonna wrap it up for the video guys. Let me know how you guys fared against Colonel Gearheart if my strategy helped you at all. I hope it did, hope it helped some of you out. Um, but yeah, the Warrior Rush, just to take out some key buildings, is just, it's not ne completely necessary. It's just more of like a safety net, I guess, if you don't wanna fail three, three times on Zookas and stuff like that. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe for more movies if you're not ready. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.